here, and then I'm going to clap one, two, three. Hey everyone, this is Bayzad. And Sierra. And uh, welcome to uh, episode three of the uh, Naked and Famous Denim podcast. Yeah. Uh, so uh, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. It's been uh, it's been a pleasure to see your comments and your reactions. I, I really appreciate uh, all of the, the kind words and, uh, and the encouragement to keep this going. So uh, we are back here with episode three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> just to start off, I want to say thank you to everyone again for... Uh, for the successful launch of the Street Fighter uh, collaboration. So uh, the Ryu and the uh, the special edition Akuma jeans uh, were released last Friday. I believe Akuma's pretty much all sold out on Tati and Yoko's end. There's a little bit, I think there's some stock. I don't know, a little bit. I, I presume there's a little bit of stock left mm -hmm. over at Blue Owl. So if you're still looking or searching for the Akuma denim, you can find that over at blueowlworkshop.us. I'll put the link down in the description below. And this Friday, not this Friday, because today is Black Friday, but next Friday, December the 1st, uh, the Guile jeans uh, will be released. So you're going to want to check that out. Those come out in the Super Skinny Guy and the Weird Guy. No Easy Guy on this release, unfortunately. But uh, for future iterations of the Street Fighter uh, collaboration, there will be more Easy Guy options. So for, for you Easy Guy fans out there... Uh, worry not. There will be more coming for you. That being said, also, just uh, some Naked and Famous news. Um, starting in the fall of 2018, everything we make will be available in Super Skinny Guy, Weird Guy, and Easy Guy. There won't be any more like of us deciding what goes in what. It all becomes available. So uh, we're listening to you guys. So uh, if you have any kind mm -hmm. of suggestions in that world, we always listen. We always pay attention. So uh, there's uh, some more news for you. And um, and yeah, today's also Black Friday. Yeah. We've got uh, we've got a lot of deals going on online. There's a couple of deals going on in store. Uh, if you're looking for a new pair of raw jeans, you definitely want to check out our our website uh, over the course of the weekend. Uh, we have a lot of great Black Friday specials, including our special mystery bags, uh, which are are fun. I mean, for for 88 bucks, uh, if you want one item, uh, we discount it if you buy multiple. So there's a there's a multiplier discount applied to that. Uh, you pick your fit, you pick your size, we send you a mystery item, and this stuff is, it's, it's random. So, uh, and, and just a pro tip for you uh, listeners out there to our podcast, if you make a suggestion of the kind of gene you want in, uh, in the comment section of the, uh, of the order, like say you want 100% cotton indigo by white, or you prefer an indigo indigo, or a black gene. We read the comments. We read the comments. We try our best to accommodate. Yeah. We don't guarantee it, but we try our best, so... Uh, there's a special pro tip out there for you guys, for for just for our listeners, um, which I, well, this is going to seg segue me into our topic for today, which okay. is uh, what to look for, or what is, or maybe the natural progression of like your next pair of raw denim jeans. We're getting a lot of people coming to our website uh, over the course of the weekend. Maybe they're first time customers. Maybe they're multiple multiple time customers yeah. uh, looking for their next pair of jeans and. Uh, I kind of wanted to talk through how a lot of raw denim people buy their next pair of jeans or what to look for in your next pair of jeans, what you should have uh, in your closet, in your rotation. Um, so mm, That's a good point. Yeah. So I tend to find that, you know, a lot of people who are new to raw jeans are they're buying, you know, 12 and a half ounce weight, 100% uh, cotton, or maybe a little, you know, we're introducing a lot of new stretch salvage now. Mm -hmm. So people are warming up to the idea of stretch uh, in their raw jeans. So definitely very basic kind of styles just to kind of get them warmed up to not washing their jeans, uh, wearing them for a long time. They can see how that fade progress is going to take place. How they feel a little bit more rigid. Exactly. So most people, they start there and uh, they wear those jeans for six months a year, maybe a little bit longer, sometimes a little bit shorter. Sometimes people get the bug of like, man, I'm really into raw jeans. Mm -hmm. I need to get something new right away. Yeah. And that happens to a lot of people. Yes, definitely. Um, but for me, and... Uh, what do you, what would be your suggestion for your... For like someone like that to get their next jean? Yeah. Um, a black jean, right? Yeah, you know, definitely. Black jeans are... You, you need to have that in your rotation. Everybody mm -hmm. needs a good pair of solid black, in, uh, black warp, black weft jeans. Yeah. Now, now, we have a bunch of different options in that. Uh, and, I mean, you can go to our website and check those out. But, uh, I mean, you go from day to night, night mm -hmm. to day. I guess that's all the options there are. But uh, <laughs> you can go formal, casual. They go with everything. They go with anything. 
-hmm. So I always generally recommend, you know, you've got your first pair of raw jeans, maybe now get a, uh, a black, black pair, pair of jeans. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. Yeah. I love our solid black selvage. And yeah. a lot of my regular customers come back again and again and again to re-up their solid black selvage. Yeah. A a classic. What some people may not even realize is that our number one selling jeans, like in our top five selling jeans, I think two or three of them are black jeans. Um, so it just goes to show you that they're so versatile. They're very versatile. And a lot of people just, they need to have it. Mm -hmm. They want to have it in their wardrobe. I recommend it always. Mm -hmm. Even for like a lot of newcomers, maybe they come into Tate and Yoko mm -hmm. and they're asking, you know, they're buying their first pair of jeans. I generally also recommend, hey, maybe you want to get a bit, pair of black jeans with it. If you like the fit, we also have make that same fit in a, in a black option. So, uh, Definitely. And you can get away with wearing them to work. You can wear them out at night. You yeah. can wear them with a sport jacket and dress them up. Yeah. And they're basic enough, right? Yeah. But beyond basics, um, you know, then I feel like if you're starting to really get into raw denim, you know, then you've got a really wide, wide, wide world of options for you. You've got, uh, you've got slubby denim. You've got heavy denim. Right. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, some of our uh, more interesting, you know, denims like colored wefts or mm -hmm. smells or, or weaves or blends, that type of thing. So, uh, yeah, I feel like the chain goes from you get your basics and then the Which would be like... We're referring to maybe left-hand twill. Yeah, or dirty our fade. Stretch selvage, dirty stretch se fade. Yeah, exactly. Then, uh, then like an unsamphrized jean, maybe like an Okayama Spirit. You know, something with a lot of character and detail, very, very slubby. Or, uh, or a heavyweight jean, like an elephant jean. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you combine the two. Like, yeah. like our Elephant 5, for example, was a heavy, slubby jean. So you kind of yeah. like knock those two out uh, in one shot. I would maybe say that elephant or unsamphrized denim would be like step three, maybe. Yeah. Step two might be Kaiju Monster, 16.75 mm -hmm. ounce. Just like w slowly progressing up. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. It's made to fade. It's slubby, dark indigo on the outside, white yeah. on the inside. Don't have to worry about the shrinkage. Yep. Nice step up from that 12.75 ounce yep. left-hand twill. That's true. But uh, alternatively, if you yeah. go to the other end, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I also find that in the spring, like, I remember early in our days and during spring, summer seasons, we would make uh, lightweight jeans. And yeah. they did okay. Mm -hmm. But I think the community in general is starting to adopt uh, and uh, welcome lightweight summer weight jeans. So, you know, we, we've done as low as five ounces. I don't think we'll ever do a five ounce jean again because those were, those were too light. But like the eight to 10 to 11 ounce range. Man, they're great for the summer. I loved, yeah. I picked up the Featherweight 8-ounce selvage in an Easy Guy fit, yeah. and I wore those the most throughout the summer. Yeah, they're, and especially in a loose fit. Yeah. But but we also do, like, some of the lighter weight colors. So lightweight mm -hmm. colors are also a great option for uh, for just adding to your rotation, like those vintage-style blue colors that you don't often see. And, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, like, well, do those jeans fade? And the answer is absolutely yes. You don't get as wide a... Uh, it's high contrast. Yeah, exactly. You don't get the high contrast like you would from like super dark to a super light. You know, this is already starting like midway through. So you've mm -hmm. got, they're light blue and they're going to white. So uh, yeah, you don't get the super high contrast, but they're already halfway faded for you. Yeah. It's just, well, not really faded, but they're they're halfway dyed, you know? Right. From, they're, they're, they're in between from, you know, being the lightest blue to the darkest blue. So uh, those are also some. I can't wait to start seeing fade picks from the cerulean selvage that we did for spring summer. Yeah, so the cerulean we we've also done like jeans like the vintage cast, mm -hmm. and uh, we do have uh, yeah. examples of uh, of faded ones of those, and we've done like the vintage cast broken twill. That construction you see a lot of faded uh, options of those. Uh, they tend to get posted up during the spring summer when people bring those back out of their uh, right. rotation. Um, also, mm -hmm. uh, as far as next pair of raw jeans, what to look for. Um, fits. Yeah. You know, a lot of people... I wanted to go here. Yeah, a lot of people, like, tend to stick with one kind of fit. You know, they like really skinny jeans, and I think that's great. Um, but especially for the spring, I love to recommend wider jeans. Because with a wider jean, it allows air to circulate. Right, so you, yeah. you, you're you're much more comfortable, and, and if you combine that again with uh, a lightweight fabric, then you're really really comfortable. But we're starting to see more and more people adopt wider legs again, which I'm actually excited for because I I personally I've I wear wider jeans. I haven't worn like particularly skinny jeans in a couple of years now. I think all of us here prefer a yeah. roomier fit. I think in like the raw denim kind of like industry 
kind of world people, mm -hmm. they're uh, they're wearing wider leg jeans. Um, and you know, consumers certainly we're still selling a lot of skinny jeans and slip fit jeans, but uh, I think we're gonna start to see more and more and more and more adoption of wider legs, and you're gonna start to see it on the forums sooner than later. Yes, I definitely. Believe. Yeah. But yeah, we've got the easy guy. We've got, uh, we actually have a new fit. It's, it, I guess it's a, a mix of a skinny and a wide jean. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have a jean coming out in the spring called the groovy guy, which is slim through the leg and then wide at the bottom. It's exactly what you think. It's like a, a classic bootcut jean thinking, uh, you know, I'm thinking like that 70s show. Well, I, when I developed it, that's exactly like what my mindset was like looking like as cool as the guys from that show. Oh, I love it. So, uh, and you don't see that kind of fit anywhere, mm -hmm. um, especially in a raw selvage. Yeah. So uh, I really want to bring that uh, back. So it's jeans with a white tee and a military jacket. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's not for everybody, I understand that, mm -hmm. but uh, if you want to have kind of that vintage throwback, I like personally I wear it and like I always feel really cool uh, yeah. when I'm wearing it because I don't see anybody wearing these kind of jeans and Maybe it's just me, but I think other people are like looking at me like, whoa, like look at those jeans. And uh, maybe they are they looking at me. They definitely are. I'm sure they are. Um, but uh, in, in Paris, uh, in the summer, we were there for some trade shows. And I'm wearing these like, you know, slim and, well, slim through the leg. Well, they're not super slim. They're not tight, but they're, they're slim mm -hmm. uh, with a, you know, wide flare. I'm with like a classic uh, Converse and I've got the Aloha shirt on. I love that. And I just looked like I was straight out of the 70s. And uh, anyways, it's a, I, good look. it's a good look. And I feel like jeans can certainly make you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, and these jeans certainly did that for me. So uh, the groovy guy is pretty cool uh, for that. If you're looking to feel groovy or like an old, you know, 70s style uh, rock star uh Anyhow, yeah, that's definitely. coming soon as far as alternative fits. And if you do have a fit that you always stick to, for example, if you're always a weird guy, yeah, don't be afraid, I would say, to try the super skinny guy. I think some people are intimidated by the name. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it really, we never made a tight fit. It's just our slimmest yeah. fit. My only rule of thumb is if you're, for example, a size 32 in the weird guy, you would be a size 33 in the super skinny guy. Yeah. You know, the, the name super skinny guy, when we... When we made the names, that was a super skinny fit. Right. Like there wasn't such a thing as a man legging at the time. Yeah. And, <laughs> man yeah. Well, there there might have been. There might have been, but it wasn't like, it wasn't mainstream, right? Mm -hmm. And skinny fits were, yeah, they they weren't as 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 everywhere as they are today. Right. So when we made super skinny guy, we basically took the skinny guy and just we tapered from the knee down and we were like, oh, well, it's the same body, so let's just call it Super Skinny Guy. Right, so Super Skinny Guy and Skinny Guy are the same. The only difference is Super Skinny Guy is a taper, Skinny Guy is a straight leg. That's right. So th the problem we didn't realize was that everybody who actually made a Super Skinny Fit never called it a Super Skinny Fit. Right. We called ours a Super Skinny Fit, mm -hmm. despite it not really being a Super Skinny Fit. It's it, not Super Skinny. It's, it's just super, our slimmest. It's our slim tapered or skinny yeah. tapered not a super it's not like a man legging like i said so right. it, it throws a couple of people off uh the name scares people i also feel that we also have our unbranded line and mm -hmm. the unbranded equivalent of the super skinny guy is called the tight fit yeah and it's not really the tightest fit in the world either mm -hmm. i know sometimes we don't get the namings like a hundred percent on you you, you know yeah. check the measurement guides and, and you'll see but uh, yeah, don't don't be afraid. Yeah, Always. don't be afraid to try a new fit. Yeah. If you're a weird guy, definitely try the super skinny guy. Go up yeah. one size. Yeah. Um, easy guy is most relaxed in the thigh with the longest rise and the most aggressive taper. Yeah. And my rule of thumb with that is if you're a weird guy 32, you would most likely be an easy guy size 31. You would size. Yeah, down you one could size. size down or wear your regular size for like a. It is intended to be a loose fit. Yeah. So if you are. Like that, that's kind of the thing about the easy guy is that it's supposed to be big. So sure. if it, the the tag size 32 means if you normally wear a 32, we kind of want you to wear a 32 and we know it's going to be big on you. Right. So that's, but some people size down because they, they want that waist to be snug. Exactly. Understood. So, you know, go for that. There's no rules. Wear whatever no, 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 no. size fits you best. Yeah. Personally, I sized up two Did in you? the easy guy and like... Without a belt, they'll fall right off my pant, right off my body. Yeah. 
I like wearing them extra loose. So uh, that's the way I wear them. Yeah. So, um, totally yeah. Totally personal preference. To total per but you can do that with any one of our fits. Mm -hmm. It's just, the, I find the easy guy is the most uh, forgiving because it has the, the highest rise. Uh, so you can really, and the widest leg, so you can really wear it any way you want. You want to size down and get it to be a slimmer fit? Go for it. You want to size up? Wear it really loose, baggy? Go ahead. You want it re regular? Then it's going to be a regular relaxed. And it's it's great, like, if you're a slim build, mm -hmm. it's a relaxed fit on you. Yeah. If you're a more athletic build, then it's a slim fit for you. Like, yeah. Like if that's you're a slim a build and you wear the weird guy, that's a slim jean. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, an athletic build and you wear the weird guy, it's probably not going to fit your thigh. Yeah. So the easy guy kind of fits how the weird guy would on a bigger guy. Exactly. So that's just something to keep in mind for that. I uh, also want to quickly go back to what I would suggest for somebody who bought one pair of raw denim and then they're re ready for their second mm -hmm. pair. Most customers I have who buy their first pair of raw denim, it's stretch. Yes. And then when they come in for their second, I love to show them a 100% cotton selvage in an easy guy because it is roomier in the thigh. Okay. So it is more comfortable sure. than something that's a little bit more restricted. Okay. Fit. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Um, I'm just trying to think. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I'm just trying to think if I have any other advice to maybe share for like your next pair of jeans. Um, don't be afraid to try things on. Be adventurous. Yeah. That's one thing for sure. Like having a red weft or a blue weft, black weft. Mm -hmm. These are all just kind of fun things to have in your rotation, right? Yeah. I don't think that there's anything, that, there's really nothing I would suggest not owning or not owning in a particular order. Mm -hmm. Like if it were me to suggest to customers like which way to go, start with your basics, you know, yeah. your, 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 your regular way indigos and blacks. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm I'm going to say once you kind of get into that raw denim world, sure, you can like you can incrementally go up, but mm -hmm. I find maybe it's more fun to go from there to say like a heavyweight or an unsand fries. Just like yes. really go hardcore yeah. so you can at least experience that. That's really the way I went. I went from like wearing regular weight, then I went all the way super heavyweight, and then I went back to kind of like normal weight, lightweight, stretch. So basics, heavyweight, on Sam Fry's, kind of like hardcore jeans. Get your get yourself a pair of like looser fitting or lighter weight jeans, something that's great for the spring summer. Yeah. Um, and then from there, start playing around. You know, mm -hmm. weaves, construction types, mm -hmm. um, materials used. Like if you want different and interesting blends, those are always fun uh, yeah. to try out. Uh, I say after you kind of experience all the different kinds of weights, that's really the time where you're maybe more comfortable in your preferences yeah. with uh, trying out experimental things. I think so, that's yeah. great advice. All right. <laughs> well, um, I think we're running out of time. Well, we can talk for hours if you want, but yeah, I, I don't could. think anyone's going to listen to us. for. It is Black Friday today, so we're a little busy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so Sierra has to run back to the store. Uh, I pulled her out. Um, so, uh, and we're going to go pick mystery items. That's true. We are going to go pick mystery items after this. So, mm -hmm. uh, thanks for tuning in again this week, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any topics that you'd like us to cover for future weeks, uh, please leave those in the comments below. I've always don't, want to do this. Yeah, yeah. Comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you have a, a friend who's into raw denim or you want to bring your friends into raw denim. That's what we're here to do, to help and educate and talk to people about, uh, about our, our little world of, of raw jeans. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you in like a week, maybe two. All right. Later, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.